What's up guys, it's Criddle from Anime Ball Z and I am joined by Robbie Damon. How are you today? Good man, how are you? Very good, very good. Welcome to Australia. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Is it your first time coming over? Or? Absolutely, first time yeah? in Australia. Excellent, so you're enjoying it so far? The weather's been relatively kind to you this weekend. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looked a little sketchy. Like yesterday I thought like the skies were going to open up, but no, it's gorgeous here. Yeah, you've, you've actually somehow managed to luck out because usually the weather's sort of like, oh, it's sunny five minutes and then it's pouring and then it's... Not so bad. It's so we're here to talk about the weather, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can I can see outside. No, stop. So you've done uh, Sailor Moon. Yes. As Tuxedo Mask. Mm -hmm. How was that experience for you? It's great. We're still working on it. So yep. uh, it's, it changes every day I go into the studio. Um, we're about 90 episodes into the original series. For those of you who don't know, we're doing all original 200 episodes, uh, all three movies, Stars, which was never aired over here. Right. And then just as of last week, they announced at Anime Boston that... Uh, the cast from um, from the, doing the original, original series. series. We'll be doing Crystal as well. Yeah, no, I've, I've, yeah, I've seen so that. Yeah, so we haven't been allowed to talk about it for for a year. And yeah. now we're finally like, yeah, we get to say something. Officially been announced, which yeah, is fantastic. Officially announced, and we just started working on it. Getting to reprise that role. Um, so how was taking over? Like, did you feel it was a daunting task to take over a role from a series that had been so big back in the 90s? Well, I, I knew there was a lot of love for it. So anytime you walk into something that there's already uh, a fan following for you want to do the property justice you want to do a good job because people have nostalgia is a very powerful thing as we all know so you don't want to walk into something and just totally destroy their childhood or or whatever uh, but I think with this Viz who took it over is handling it with such care I mean it's uncut as close to the original as we can get the translations excellent the new cast is some uh, some anime veterans and some really talented up-and-comers so I think that part of it made it easy a lot of a lot of that was taken out of my hands so as long as we stayed true to Japanese did a good job with the great script we were given it, it, it started to fall into place and the, so far the feedback's been really positive so it's been that's a great experience that's always fantastic that's what you want as long as you get that positive feedback. yeah yeah I mean you don't want anybody to come up and slap you in the face at the autograph table or whatever like you ruined my childhood but no that's all good yeah I'm sure that would happen though I'm sure that would... <laughs> I don't know it's... somewhere along there there's going to be someone that is so intrinsically the original dub was the best I, I don't know how they think there... I don't know how they think that but that's beside the point there was a lot of that in the beginning there was a lot of like pushback yeah and, and I think that and because so, we announced it quite a ways before we started airing it, so well, not we, but they, and uh, and then once people saw it came to air, they sort of like were like, oh, okay, I can get into this, <laughs> and it's been pretty positive so far. Yeah, that's really cool. So you don't just do the anime voice acting, obviously you've done a lot more live action stuff and some stunt stuff as well. The live action stuff, it's funny that you bring it up. It must be in the in the Supernova bio sometime. I, I haven't, have, haven't even looked at that. I haven't been on camera in. Five years. Uncle, okay, you're on camera now. So oh, hi. Like... Hello. That kind of body camera. Like in, a, in an indie movie or, or commercials or doing stunt stuff. Just because um, when you start to get busier in voiceover, it sort of takes over your life. So I drive to Burbank every day and, and do, do a session or two if it's a really good day or good week. And then I'll come home and I'll have auditions waiting for me and have some supper, go to the gym, do auditions, wake up, do the auditions I didn't get to do last night, go back to the studio. And that doesn't leave a lot of time for auditioning or, or doing anything like that. So so I, I'm super grateful for my success in voiceover, but it's definitely sort of stopped me from doing some on-camera stuff. So do you do you miss having been able oh, to do Oh, sure. Yeah? Dude, I come from theater. Yeah. So I, that's how I paid my way through college and grad school. I love being in front of people and, and that sort of aspect of you know, being like a face actor instead of a voice actor. And, uh, uh, but, but I get to do stuff in anime and video games and animation that I'd never get to do as an actor. You know what I mean? I get to play these fantastic creatures and characters and heroes and villains that just I, I would never get the chance to otherwise. So what have been some standout roles for you? Like the stuff that's really iconic for yourself and more so than like uh, what the fans love? Because obviously you're going to have that massive fan <clears> thing <throat> with that, oh my God, it's Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my God. Oh, it's so, well, that was my very first anime role. So to have uh, my, my first role in anime be Tuxedo Mask is awesome. And since then I've gotten to do um, several other anime, but I can't talk about them yet because... Oh. Yeah, because non disclosures. It's, yeah, non disclosures. You know how it goes. Yeah. But but since I'm so new to that world, y you know, I can't talk about this stuff. And I've got some really exciting stuff. And I follow me on Twitter, and I'll tell you all about it. There we but, uh, Shame, shameless plug. I love <laughs> that's it. Shameless plug. Put the tag up on the screen. Yeah, we'll put, oh, sweet. It'll be down here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere yeah, one. But um, 
it's, it's more about the people that I get to work with uh, than the specific roles. So doing shows on Nickelodeon like Breadwinners and doing uh, uh, video games like Final Fantasy that I grew up on and working for companies like Ubisoft and Activision and getting to be cartoon characters and having like dolls made of yourself and action figures and stuff. and. All that's really cool and great, and I enjoy the artistic part of it, but getting to work with other actors who I grew up on that are some of my icons and heroes, that's hands down the coolest part of it for me. Well, this has been a very cool interview. Thank you so much for taking the time. You guys are awesome. Today. I've, sh I've really shaken like nine times. That's, that's let's, fine. Let's I'll, end on a handshake. We'll end on a handshake. This has been Robbie Damon, and I'll this is... On. You're going to resume on it? Fantastic. <laughs> the world's most awkward handshake. That's not focused at all. We're focused on it. Excellent. So this is Robbie Damon. This has been Anime Ball Z, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Later. <laughs>